I think Type Hall is a fantastic service, and I'd like the deaf community to really understand and be more aware of that sort of service. First half of day one, the student said, it feels like the fog has been lifted. Like, it was just this epiphany for her. I was just wanted to say that Typewell services are like manna from heaven. You know, manna. <laughs> I love transcribing. I'm really enjoying the work that I'm doing, and it's providing this type of service for deaf and hard of hearing students in a different manner, and I'm really enjoying that. I find it challenging, interesting, and I love getting up and going to work in the morning. Typewell is a system of taking spoken word and transcribing it into text. And this system uses two laptops, a transcriber transcribing into one laptop while a student is reading from the other laptop. Okay, class, now that we've talked about what's uh, in a good thank you letter. The transcriber types group, into the laptop and, the, uh, and the condensed words that are used show up in full uh, on the student's laptop. Some of the benefits are th of this is the transcriber will sit anywhere in the classroom that provides them with a good range of hearing. They can hear the professor well and they can also hear all the other students in the class. I've provided type well services for a variety of students with different and unique um, communication access needs. Some students are um, hard of hearing who have quite a bit of residual hearing and use hearing aids, FM systems, etc. and use the type well as more of a backup. So if the instructor is, is explaining something, they're getting most of the information from the instructor, but if they miss a word or are distracted, they can look at the screen and see what they missed right away. All you have is uh, a simple uh, class that identifies this as navigation. Um, other students are, um, have much less hearing and are dependent on the screen for all of the information that they get um, and will type their responses on the screen where I will um, read them to the instructor or the person who's asking the question. Where do I find my navigation list exercise? Uh, that's signalflare.ca. So it really has been a real variety of students I've found who have been able to utilize the services. Post-secondary communication access services, or PCAS, provides information on current practices and research regarding communication access for students who are deaf or hard of hearing. Our program first learned about speech-to-text services at a conference where we were exposed to TypeWell as a service. And so we decided to pilot uh, the training in the province uh, to see how the service was received. I was hired by BCIT to look at some speech-to-text options for students who are deaf or hard of hearing primarily because there was a huge gap in what we saw as available services. There certainly were interpreters available in the Lower Mainland. If you got outside of the Lower Mainland, there wouldn't be interpreters available. Many students also don't use sign language, and the question was how best could we serve those particular students. It was a real concern to us. We were looking at two main types of speech-to-text services. One was word-for-word, -word, and the other was meaning-for-meaning. Meaning. The word-for-word -word transcription is good for some applications, but at the end of the day, it has tremendously dense notes. It provides a dense page for the student to read during the class, where you have the meaning-for-meaning -meaning system your student has wonderfully condensed uh, text on the page. The bottom line for us was that we needed to find a system that was uh, cost effective, that could be up and running in a relatively short period of time, and was flexible. And certainly the system that we chose was very flexible. <music> Students appear to really like the program that we have chosen. They find it liberating in as much as they don't have to keep their eyes always on an interpreter. That's for students who use sign language. Students who have, uh, who are hard of hearing and are using type well often find that this is the first time that they've had any really effective support service in post-secondary or in their entire educational career. And at best, prior to having the speech-to-text service available, 
The best that we could do for most students who were hard of hearing and didn't use sign language was provide an FM system, and sometimes that worked for them and sometimes it didn't, or a peer note taker. Neither of those were perfect answers. Students who are hard of hearing have reported that their lives have changed in post-secondary education as a result of having the support services through speech to text. I see in reviewing the outline of your fundraising course that there's going to be a fair amount of group work in the class and I'm wondering if we need to do anything special in regards to the um, speech to text software or any other accommodations. Group discussions are difficult no matter what, and even though there is a few second delay in the uh, transcribing, I'm still able to participate in the group discussion. Could you also remind them that I'll be wearing, using the FM system and the instructor will need to wear a mic? And uh, it's very helpful, the FM system, but also because of the high level of English in the class, uh, the transcribing is just invaluable. That's great because you've come to us five months in advance, so that gives me time um, to get that installed. And as well, uh, we'll probably need to recruit two transcribers and possibly train them in time for your class for September, as well as giving me time to communicate with your instructor that you're going to be in the course and that we're going to be using a speech-to-text um, system. I noticed a huge difference in participation by the students. They were much more involved in the class than they had been in the past. And I think a lot of that was to do with they, they were confident that the question they had hadn't already been asked. You know, when they were bending down to get a pen out of their bag or take an eye break, they, weren't, they were missing information before when, for the oral interpreting. And they were missing that piece. And now they could just look at their screen and know that they hadn't missed anything. So they were participating so much more in the classroom. They're no longer sitting at the front of the room. And I think they're really enjoying being able to sit with their friends at the back or just even being able to be in the middle of the classroom and surrounded with other students. And nowadays, so many students bring laptops to class that that's the students that's receiving the service looks no different from anybody else. And half the time, the other students in the class don't even know that I'm there transcribing. They think I'm a student in the class taking my own notes. So I find the service is really anonymous. And that's nice for some students that you know, may f tend to feel conscious and self-conscious about uh, having to have somebody in the classroom for them to access the information. Definitely, without, without a doubt. Um, there's no way I would have um, passed the courses that I did without Typewell or even continued to go on to try. To try. In the classroom, um, it's invaluable for you know, the jokes that keeps everybody motivated um, to, for attending class, From the, hospital, uh, the finer points doing. that, you know, so I miss because the teacher is a walker back, and he's the over and very, down very the end of the aisle, <laughs> I can't see yeah, what he's saying, um, or I'm just not feeling that well that day, and uh, so I'll rely more on the type well than I do the visual and the FM system. Um, it's invaluable in both situations, but the notes for me, because really there's just so much information coming in during the class that never mind hearing what's being said, never mind thinking about what's being said, never mind thinking about questions that I might have about what's being said, never mind remembering what's being said. So much of my brain is taking up and just trying to receive the information that uh, it's much more, uh, you know, I do much more my learning and remembering after the fact when I'm at home and in quiet little space and the computer and the, and the notes that the type well transcribers uh, provide is invaluable. I am profoundly deaf and uh, I attended university in the past and access was provided by way of sign language interpreters and or uh, computer note takers. Uh, I'm print oriented so I can uh, read uh, what people are saying and what they are asking. And if questions are being asked, uh, I feel more confident about being able to answer their questions because it's all in print in front of me. So that would be uh, a benefit for me. And um, when I have access to what people are saying, I, I tend to speak more. So my participation is uh, 
enhance. Um, I tend to be more relaxed, and when I'm more relaxed, I, I, I'm less tired. So uh, that's one of the advantages of uh, type well. And when I uh, don't have type well and uh, look at uh, people or try to speak with them, that can be quite fatiguing because speech reading is very much like um, mental gymnastics. So uh, what, uh, what happens is that I catch a word every now and then and I try to fill in the gaps mentally. And that word mental exhaustion comes in and mental exhaustion leads to physical exhaustion. It's very accessible, it's very easy to use and it sort of makes you invisible. Like you're just like everyone else, everyone's sitting at their desk with a laptop. I think it's a really tremendous breakthrough in terms of working from American Sign Language and translating that into English. And English being a second language, sometimes deaf people have a struggle with choosing the right vocabulary and structuring the language in an effective way and, and TypeWell really helps a lot with that kind of information. As a professional working in the deaf and hard of hearing communities, I would strongly recommend using TypeWell technology for anybody, for students who are recent graduates from high school and transitioning into their post-secondary education, I would really like to see them being able to have access to that service in their high school years and so that they're familiar with this sort of service before they enter uh, college or university. I see that there are great benefits to using the service. The only difference for me was the um, at the front of the class, I normally have, I have a whiteboard and I tend to pace. So I tend to go back and forth and make sure that students are um, on top of everything. So we had to sort of jog the arrangement so that the TypeWell transcribers had enough space to do their work and also that I had enough space to continue to uh, walk around at the front of the class. Um, it wasn't intrusive at all. Um, it was uh, it's quite easy to get involved, yeah. I think the biggest impact was um, knowing that they were there in order to assist the student and sort of almost assist me in teaching. And uh, it wasn't just the students that uh, were using the services of the TypeWell that required a little bit of shepherding after a lecture. I would have to go around to other students and make sure that they were caught up as well. So it was in the course of my regular teaching anyway. I think the instructors that I've worked with have really enjoyed having this type of accommodation in their classroom. They know that they need something in there to make their lecture accessible to the deaf and hard of hearing students that they have in the class. And I think from the feedback that I've had, all of them have really enjoyed having this type of service in place. And they know that the material is all getting across to the student. So they're very confident that the student is receiving all of the information. Uh, the equipment has been a little bit of a frustration. Just equipment, um, you know, linking wirelessly, uh, we have to be trained for that. And if something goes wrong, which it has in the classroom, you know, you're, you're all set, you're all, equipment's open, you're all set to go, and then all of a sudden the, the wireless uh, goes down. So you have to run it up to the technical department and get that set up. Oftentimes what happens, a student or an instructor will ask the class a question, and perhaps, for, an ex for example, uh, did anybody see that television show last night? And immediately 39 hands will go up, but one won't be up. And the instructor, it's not because the student hasn't seen the television show, it's because the transcriber can't get the message out at exactly the same pace. So the one challenge with TypeWell is timing and that there is definitely always a lag. So if the instructor asks the student a direct question, um, the instructor has to be prepared to wait you know, five to ten seconds for the transcriber to catch up so that the deaf or hard student can answer. So it's just a matter of everybody getting a feel of how the process works. And at first it might feel a little bit strange for people, but within a day or two everybody's pretty much used to it. So, um, so I would say keep in contact with PCAS um, and coordinators uh, networking with other coordinators and finding out if it's working for other institutions and what's working and what's not. Um, just, yeah, make yourself aware of, of the new technology. As technology advances, the software program will be continually upgraded and enhanced, and so information about these changes can be found at the TYPO website.
For those interested in becoming a Type 1 transcriber, the training is completely online. It's very efficient. It takes about three to four weeks. Best practices in providing communication access are the same for interpreting as they are transcribing. In the training, transcribers will learn about such things as when to work in pairs of two because the work is labor intensive. For more information or for further detail on training, you can go to the Typo website. And at PCAS, once you've completed the training, we add your name to a jobs line where you have access to job postings in transcription services.